Old and achy here. Now, how many times has this happened to you? You fought your way all the way through the Infinity uh, campaign mission up to the uh, Rally Point Charlie where you got to jump in a tank and duke it out and you try to get out of the way of the uh, EMPs and you try to battle the daggone uh, Wraith and somewhere along the line you get nailed and boom, there goes your mission. Well, there's a nice little skip, uh, thanks to Sliding Ghost, that uh, I want to walk you through here in a second, as soon as, uh, as soon as uh, Wraith kills me. But basically, what you're going to do is, when you come out of uh, the dark, uh, the black scene on uh, uh, Charlie, instead of going to the tank, run to the left like this. Let him have it. Run, run, run. Okay, run up to these rocks right here. On this rock, crops jump up here. This ledge, get right up on the edge. Walk very carefully. Jump over to the next edge. Okay, walk very carefully. Turn left. Jump. Don't worry about that. All right, take two steps and then sprint. And you will sprint into a little hole. And out. You can just work yourself out of that. And guess what? You just bypass that whole little battle there with the cubbies in the right. And guess what? There's no enemies out here. They haven't spawned yet. I suppose they, they're triggered by the tank rolling over a certain point. But we're just going to just keep running up here, running. And ultimately, we're going to get to a wraith. And we're just going to mosey on down the pathway here on the wraith. Don't boost the wraith at all from the time you jump in until right about now. Boost. Because there's a phantom getting ready to drop some troops off. And they'll start firing at you. Okay, let's just follow this path. We're going to encounter a ghost and a, uh, and a wraith up here, and you can uh, you can take them both out from a little bit of distance. I'm just seeing if I can get the ghost from a ways back. I'm actually, going to do most of the fighting up here by the next big rock, the one that's kind of burning there on the right side. this for cover. This just is a bit of an extended uh, artillery battle with the other Wraith. Now the reason I'm continuing this clip is I just wanted to show that you can use the Wraith up in the landing bay to take out the, all the cubbies including the two hunters. What is interesting though, if you get dinged up here fighting this wraith uh, By the way, I'm doing this la Lazo, so uh, I've got blind on that makes firing that daggone tank over there a little bit more problematic But notice how I'm using this rock as cover I just strafe back to the right behind the rock when he fires And straight back to the left and fire at him. There, there he goes. He's down.
but if you're if you get dinged up in this battle or you, you don't really don't think you can handle the cubbies up there on the uh, landing bay with the wraith versus some tank you could actually bring the wraith up to this point turn around and go back towards the tank all the way at the beginning of the checkpoint or the uh, yeah the checkpoint trolley there rally point Charlie you'll have to fight some cubbies along the way back uh, where that phantom was there's uh, I think an elite or two and a couple of grunts and whatever and then all the way back at the beginning you have to fight basically the enemies you would have fought with the tank that are still standing which includes the wraith a couple of uh, elites and uh, maybe a grunt or jackal or two. but you can take them from distance and go right back to the tank and then bring the tank back up with absolutely no resistance. But here I'm just basically strafing back left and right, left and right. My major focus at this point is that uh, fuel rod cannon run. Because he can put some damage on the uh, wraith. Uh, you hit the hunters once or twice and if they don't go down they will start backing up and they become a non-factor while you try to deal with the closer in enemies. And it does take a few direct hits to actually bring a hunter down just like it does to, take a, to bring an elite down. So basically here I am, I'm, I'm also using that little uh, platform there as cover. Notice how that hunter is really backed up. Yep, there he goes. Now I'm down to just a couple of enemies. Now the nice thing about this trick, or this skip, is that you can practice it by just setting the mission at Rally Point Charlie. It will take you right to the beginning where the tank is. So you can keep running practice, little practice runs up to the ledge and the jumps and everything like that until you get them down. That's basically what I did. Because I'm definitely not going to go through a mission and then go try to do that skip if I'm not comfortable that I can hit it every time. We're just cleaning up the last couple here. Again, it's a little tougher to aim when you've got the blind skull on. Oh, there goes the there goes the elite. Oh, yep, there's there's one grunt coming around up there. Oh, he's gone. The ship captain comes Master on, and there he is. That means you basically wiped captain everybody out. Well, anyway, I hope this uh, this helps. Uh, practice that skip and Sir, practice. Uh, Clearing out the cubbies here in landing bay with the uh, with the wraith, and uh, you, you save yourself a lot of hassle. Can we break the connection? Yeah, all the nation signing off. Take care.